Tag. And again, as part of our Women's Month, ngayong buwan ng Marso, meron na naman tayong makakausap na isang inspiring Filipina uh, sa real estate industry. Alam mo naman yan, Bluebird. Mm. Eh, traditionally, it is a male-dominated field. Oo naman. Diba? At ang nakakatawa dito, ang may interview natin, she has defied stereotypes and at the same time, uh, she has inspired others to challenge nga societal norms and strive for success regardless of gender. So, makakausap natin ang owner ng Altamana Real Estate. We have the beautiful Miss Jibeth Laksamana. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Carrie. Good morning, Daddy Bluebird. Oh, good morning. Uh, Jibeth, ang tanong ko lang sa'yo, unang-una, ano bang nag-inspire sa'yo to pursue a career in real estate and uh, paano ka nag-start sa industry na to? Okay, um, just to give you a bit story of myself, okay po. Uh, actually, I've been in Dubai for over a decade now. Mm-hmm. So, I was like here back in 2013. So, as a normal, you know, regular Filipina na who wanted to uh, go to other uh, country and, you know, uh, have that greener pasture. Yes. So... That time, 2013, I started in a corporate world. So I, I worked with them for the last seven years. And then uh, I got an opportunity from a Philippine developer back in uh, no, 2020. It is the peak of pandemic. So I decided to, from corporate world, magta transition ako sa real estate industry. Mm. So but by the time, uh, as a realtor, uh, I mainly uh, no, um, sell properties back home. Okay. So that okay. time I realized na talaga that I have that passion in real estate. So growing up kasi I don't have that permanent home. Mm. So parang she nag uh, inspire sa akin to really pursue real estate. And then uh of course when I was like exposed in a, a real estate industry, that's the time that I met a lot of uh, realtors naman in Dubai. Mm-mm. So I was like thinking that time na oh nandito na pala ako sa real estate, why not explore din yung Dubai real estate? So basically, Dubai real estate is really uh, a dynamic industry and a lot of, it's a big opportunity talaga. So I decided to join a small real estate company. Mm. So from there, sabi ko, I really wanted to have my own. So nag decide ako back in December 2023, 2023 uh, 2022, that I will start my own real estate agency. But kasi I've seen that very less lang yung Filipino realtor sa industry. Mm-mm. So parang yun yung nag-push sa akin na I wanted to elevate yung Filipinos Uh-oh. when it comes to industry. So kaya na buo si Altamana Real Estate. Yeah. So it's a fully Filipino-owned real estate agency po siya. Right now, I do have 10 agents and 90% of them are Filipinos. Oh, nice! Mm. So what gave you that uh, strength? And uh, parang kasi nakikita ko ikaw talaga parang risk taker ka eh. Saan mo nakuha yan? Or saan mo nakinukuha yung lakas ng loob mo? Actually, I, I, I think because I am the eldest, mm-hmm. parang breadwinner ka na and you... Uh, uh, aside from being a risk taker, of course, um, nandun yung ano ko talaga na gusto ko magkaroon ng sarili kong company, sarili Mm-mm. kong business. So, ang iniisip ko kasi, now or never. Mm. Um, uh, I, I give ano talaga dun sa mga nag to be employee. Uh, but for me, because of the risk na kailangan mong i-consider, I chose to be a business owner. It's not easy. It's Mm-mm. not easy, especially in this industry. So, and daming mga challenges na kaharapin. But then again, um, nandun kasi yung ano ko, nandun kasi yung uh, parang push ko talaga sa sarili ko na kung hindi ngayon, kailan pa? Oo. Lagi namin naririnig yan eh. Wala ka dapat ginagawang excuse. Yes. Kung may gusto ka and you're passionate about it, Go, yes. gawin mo yan. Pero gusto ko lang malaman, itong, uh, itong industry na maraming, mar- mar- maraming lalaki at saka amin na natin, marami ang, mas marami dito mga non-Pilipinos. Mm-hmm. Pero anong pinagkaiba mo at saka servisyo mo sa, sa saka mga competi- competitors mo? Actually, um, just to give you statistics lang, there are over 17,000 brokers dito sa Dubai. Mm-hmm. Dubai alone, okay? Um, good thing right now, uh, 34% of that is women na. So at least uh, that that industry gives a an opportunity for women to do this business, to do this uh, industry. Um, 
unfortunately or fortunately, our Filipinos, at least 2% lang from that 17%. Oh. So, very less talaga. Oh. So, imagine it's like around 200 to 300 Filipino brokers, over 17,000 na uh, brokers. So, it's uh, it's dominantly talaga ng other nationalities like Arab, you know, um, uh, Indian, Pakistan, European. British, mm-hmm. and, you know, and uh, 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 Russians. Pero sa atin kasi, uh, we have this trait as Filipinos. At yun ang nakita ko. I had that uh, during, um, 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 when I'm a real estate agent kasi, I got this clamor from client, from landlord, tenant, that sometimes they are meeting realtor or real agents na nami-mislead sila ng information, nagkakaroon ng unprofessionalism. So parang sa akin, ang characteristics kasi ng Pilipino is nandun yung professional tayo, mm-hmm. very patient tayo. Yes, as yes. much as possible, we give the best information. Mm-hmm. Hindi natin minimislead yung tao. And at the same time, we're very transparent. Yes. So yung parang nag-ano sa akin, that's, that trait of Filipinos can do well in this industry. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Pero ano sa, sa itong sa industry na ito, okay, nandiyan na tayo, mag, mag, uh, meron tayong mga meron tayong ano eh, uh, plus factor eh. Pero meron ka bang nasa lubong din na encounter na mga challenges? Mm-hmm. At saka paano mo ito nilagpasan? Um, madami po. Oh, <laughs> bigyan mo kami ng isa. So actually, act- sabi ko nga, this industry has been dominated by other nationalities. As a Filipina, of course, kailangan talaga nating i-prove yung sarili mm-hmm. natin not only mm-hmm. once but hundred times to people around you that Kasi this one is an investment eh. They're gonna, it, they spend millions of their money. So, nandun yung ano mo talaga na dapat trustworthy ka as a person. Um, yun lang din yung siguro naging ano, um, challenge in the beginning. But then sabi ko nga, we will go back to the traits of Filipinos. At the end of the day, these investors wanted to work with trustworthy people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. ba? So ganun naman tayo, ganun naman yung in- ganun naman yung industry kasi money ang pinag-uusapan. Uh-uh, uh-uh. So aside from that, of course we can communicate well kahit naman British, Indian, Pakistan or other nationality yan. We Filipinos are very very fluent in English so we can communicate well to them. But again, most sometimes din naman they wanted to speak with their native language Mm-mm. talaga. Mm-mm. So yun yung parang isa sa mga nakita ko na challenge that time. Mm. Second yung intense competition kasi nga ang daming brokers, like 17,000 brokers. Mm. So yung competition talaga is sobrang uh, lakas, sobrang intense. Like you know there was a time na pa, ano na 90% na okay na, bibili na yung ano, yung property. buyer property mm-hmm. na okay na siya. And then the seller will tell me na I'm sorry Jibet, I gave it to another agent. Oh. Or yung buyer would say would tell me that I'm sorry Jibet, I already bought from someone else. <laughs> so alam mo yan, you already work hard for that for how many months and then later on mapupunta lang din sa wala. Iba. But Oo. then since we have this I always focus on the service eh. At mm. the end of the day they will come back to you. That's only one transaction. Eventually if they if they decided to buy again, dahil dun sa service na ibibigay natin mm-hmm. as a, mm-hmm. you know, as a realtor Filipino, diba, babalik at babalik uh, sila. Tama yan. So, since you, we have talked about uh, your company na, uh, Altamana Real Estate Company, can you share with us, kasi sabi mo nga before, eh, um, nasanay ka na nagsisell ng properties back home uh, which is uh, a typical a normal thing to do especially yung mga OFW sa atin gusto mag sa Pilipinas. Pilipinas pero meron ka bang nakita na change in terms of uh, yung mga bumibili ng mga properties na dito na mga Pinoy. Kasi napapansin natin, tayo mga Pinoy, hindi naman tayo nagsistay dito ng mga 4 or 5 years na. Mm-hmm. Mahabang time and uh, to the point wherein uh, a lot of us are already starting our family dito na sa UAE. So, may nakita ka bang uh, difference uh, yes. when it comes to buying properties na mga Pinoy ang owner? Yes. Actually, Altamana Real Estate, aside from I wanted to have a broker na Filipinos, I am focused on uh, um, selling to Filipinos as well. So, kasi tayo, it's over 700,000 Filipinos tayo sa UAE. So, imagine mo, madami din nagstay dito for over 10 years na. I mean, when we started naman, sabi lang natin, 2 years, ba? Dahil maganda naman ang opportunity na binigay ni Dubai. Humahaba yung 
taon natin dito. So, last year, most of my clients are Filipinos. Oh, nice! Thank God. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Pero na, na, ako, may iba tayo. Na, nasabi ni Kirebel, grabe ka pa na magtrabaho. Kahit may bagyo, lulusong ka pa rin. May baka lulusong ka pa rin. Sobrang busy me. Pero tanong ko lang, may time ka ba? Enough time ka pa ba sa family mo? Uh, thank God lang po, my parents are with me. Mm-hmm. So, shout out sa nanay ko, nakikinig niyan siya. Si Mam- Mama Virgit sa tatay ko, si Tatay Abet. So, um, they joined me like four months ago. So, they are with me right now. So, at least kahit pa pano, even if I'm busy the whole day, pag uwi mo sa bahay, alam mo, nandyan sila, mm-hmm. nakakapagkwentuhan. So, I still spend time with them. And and um, since they wanted to stay here for long longer time, Um, nag-start din ako ng new business venture with them. So oh, parang yun na din yung bonding namin. Oh, 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 diba? nice. So if you will ask me about love life, wala po. <laughs> okay, cancel ang tanong number. Cancel ang second sa question. <laughs> Kailangan maghintay pa. Oo, hindi po kayo priority. Single po. <laughs> oh, pero we can see, ah, you are happy. And oh, that yes. is a yeah. choice. Yes, diba? yeah. Oo, oh, let's single, make it clear. Single naman, ano... Ready to mingle. <laughs> well, to mingle lang muna. Mingle muna. Oh, <laughs> priority yung um, kanyang business. So ano namang ma-advise mo? Based sa uh, ano, na- dami ng experience, ano mm-hmm. mo ma-advise mo naman sa mga babaeng katulad mo na gusto nilang papasokin yung real estate na industry? So uh, first of all, uh, real estate in general is a commission-based profession. So, wala po kaming fixed salary. So, kung anong tinrabaho mo, yun ang kikitain mo. So, you just need to be ready when it comes to finances. Second is time. Um, people, nakikita kasi nila, nakala nila, is real estate is like um, flexible timing naman siya. Uh, hindi ka naman kul- uh, kulong sa 9 to, 5, 9 to 5 na job. But again, it, it, uh, it, it will take a lot of time from you. Kasi nga, your viewings... You know, setting meetings with the clients. Maybe sometimes after work yan. Mm-hmm. Your viewings mo, gabi siya. So you just need really need to be, you know, prepared when it comes to the timings. So flexible siya, yes. Pero maya maya may tatawag sa'yo, 9 o'clock, can I view the apartment? Eh kung alam mo naman na yung profile niya is ano serious buyer talaga why not mm-hmm. di ba babangon at babangon talaga Tama. ako di ba para mabentahan siya third ano kailangan lang ano uh, magkaroon ng proper training and education so para sa atin i want you to educate yourself kung ano yung uh, um, industry na pinapasukan and you need to be you know this kasi it's a service oriented field kailangan marunong ka makipag-communicate with people, you know. It's not all about negotiation, but it's all about how you're going to listen to that person para malaman mo kung ano yung requirements nila. And then you could give that requirements though, based on whatever listings that you have. And lastly, you need to find a real estate agency that will help you and guide you when it comes to achieving your real estate goals. Oh, oh nako, ang dami natin natutunan na talaga namang nabibilib tayo sa ating guest ngayong umaga. Isa lang ang masasabi namin sa iyo, Jibet. Iba ka, kabayan! Thank you! Tag 91.1 Pinoy talaga!